This is the World of Sports Network presentation. So right now, speaking of a real dilemma, man, I know it's a real one. The Seahawks, they're a real organization, man. The Seahawks, the real organization, the home to their like guru. What's up, man? The Seahawks, what's going on? Schneider, Pete, Ross, what is going on? And you know I got something to say. Because this is what I do. I am the opinion head. And y'all going to make me the number one opinion head in all of any type of platform, man. Y'all going to make me that. Call it the guru, the number one opinion head. Yeah, I got to plug myself. That's what I do. Call me Glads, Glaze. Is it called Glads, Glaze, to plug it in? I don't know, man. I'm shit. Anyways, let me talk about the dilemma the Seahawks got, man. So they're like, Russ, Russ's people, you know, gave, <laughs> gave a list of teams that, you know, they um, Russ might be interested in if he wants to leave. Yeah, it was like Dallas, Las Vegas. A bu basically, a bunch of a freaking team who cares about? Who cares about? It's not going to happen. Who cares, right? So then it's like, you know what's going on? With, and what I love, what's going on out here in Renton? What I love, what's going on is the Seahawks are very quiet. There's no back and forth going on. There's no Jerry and Dak. There's no uh, um, sources secretly saying something. No, no, no. This is, they're very quiet. They're letting Russ express himself. In a situation like this, when you've been in a long relationship, this is what happens. The Seahawks dilemma. The Seahawks ain't got no dilemma. Because at the end of the day, if Russ got, if anybody comes and offers for Russ, it's going to be a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of, of assets they're going to retain. In a win-win situation, regardless. Regardless. Yes, they're like, Russ is a one-in-a-lifetime uh, quarterback. But as we all know, it don't take a one-in-a-lifetime quarterback to win a Super Bowl. No, it doesn't. Absolutely not. So at the end of the day, it will be a king's ransom. The Seahawks will get so much in return that they will be able to uh, uh, expedite the, the, the process and the output, and so, uh, especially on the defensive side, and get their offensive line of running back, especially what they were lacking. They'll be able to improve that in an exponentially version if, if Russ is gone. You know, the Seahawks is like, and if Russ stay, they're still going to do that situation anyways. They're still working to improve that situation anyways. They made strides in that as far as getting the offensive coordinator this year. A new offensive coordinator. Having a new offense they, 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 they're attempting to run. You know, everybody's doing that shanty type offense now. You know what I'm saying? You can't beat them, might as well join them. Defensively, they're getting up to being the Jamal Adams defense, you know? They're getting up to him being the, the focal point of the defense. So, uh, uh, just what's next is the offensive line. They started that with Damian Lewis last year. So, in a sense, I feel it. The Seahawks to put themselves and position themselves in a win-win situation, in my opinion, man. You know what I mean? And they know Russ is upset. They know this is just a relationship. They know what this is. This is a Class A organization, man. It's a class A organization. So this is going to be ended up, it's going to end up being a, a, a good situation either way it goes. But most likely, I'm not saying it's not possible, but most likely, like in any relationship, they're just listening to the partner and they're going to say, salvage and save this relationship. It's that easy. It's not in no, it, it, it's not in a irreconcilable situation. No, it's not. It's just in a, oh, oh I, I'm listening to you situation right now. That's all it is, man. And I trust in um, Schneider, who's one of the best GM in, in football, as well as Pete Carroll, man. And they will handle business. Because I recall at one point when Russ wanted to, you know, he gave a deadline, I want my deal done. And what did the Seahawks organization did? They accomplished the deal exactly what Russell wants. So in this situation now, Russell wants help. He's crying. He wants basically attention. The Seahawks are going to let him express himself and at the end of the day, give him what he wants, man.